Skyscrapers in Paradise, a buyer's guide to the five largest high-rise communities in Hawaii. Hey, what's happening? It's Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors. I hope this finds you doing amazing. Today, we are doing a little bit of a, um, uh, well, it's a little bit of uh, just our normal weekly content. Uh, but what we're doing this week is we're featuring some of the largest uh, high-rise communities or high-rise high condominiums in Hawaii. Now, you may uh, be thinking about buying a condominium in Hawaii or thinking about just buying a property in general in Hawaii. And a lot of first-time buyers or a lot of outside investors coming to Hawaii tend to find themselves drawn more and more to the condominium, uh, uh, the condominium types type of property. And the reason that is, is the external maintenance is a lot better uh, or not as, uh, you know, in, intense, if we can say it that way, if you're coming from the outside. Uh, it's, you know, there's a lot of Airbnb legal properties that uh, exist in the condominium space. And so I just decided this week, what we're going to do is a walkthrough of the five largest high rise buildings in, uh, in all of the islands. Now they do happen to be located right here on Oahu. Uh, but, um, you know, we're going to just step through all five of them. And so what I'm going to do is um, we're going to review them. I'm going to basically list them by unit count. We're going to go through their location and their Airbnb status. Uh, I'm going to go through a little bit of their amenities and their comments. And we're going to do a review of current uh, inventory, basically just to sort of give you an idea of what is on the market. Now, keep in mind this month's uh, or this week's video is actually sponsored by buywaikiki.com. Uh, do you have questions about legal short-term rentals in Hawaii? Um, at buywaikiki.com, you can find an overview of current rules. You can find all of the current buildings that are legal, uh, Airbnb and VRBO ready. And, uh, and then also you can see listings right there. Just go to buywaikiki.com and you can see the actual listings that are available and ready to go for short-term rental investments in Hawaii. Also, I want to encourage you, if you're watching this, stick around. At the end, we've got a free gift just for you for watching uh, our video today. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. So, all right. First up, we are looking at the Ala Moana Hotel. That's so funny. We got our little, uh, our little um, uh, what do you call it, uh, animation there. The Ala Moana Hotel is an excellent property. Oh, boy. Is it going to do that on everyone? I guess it is. So funny. Um, a couple of things to note about the Ala Moana Hotel. Excuse me. Uh, you know, the Ala Moana Hotel, it's, it's basically, um, it's right next to or adjacent to the Ala Moana Condo Hotel. And it's a very popular hotel condominium complex situated adjacent to the Ala Moana Center. Uh, it's in a prime location. It's got access to shopping, dining, entertainment options, as well as being uh, within walking distance to the beach park, Ala Moana Beach Park, and the Hawaii Convention Center right across the street, which is an excellent uh, an excellent com uh, condominium or an excellent, um, you know, local, you know, center convention center that brings in a lot of folks from the mainland to uh, to attend convention centers we, or conventions. We've seen a little bit of a reduction in that traffic over the last couple of years, but we're starting to see it come back. So it's I'm excited to see what the future is going to hold with the Hawaii Convention Center. Um, the Alamoana Hotel condo consists of 36 stories and it features 1,152 units. It's known for its luxurious amenities, which include a fitness center, a swimming pool, sauna, several on-site dining options, not to mention, I mean, nearly limitless opportunities for dining from, you know, um, poke bowls all the way up to fine, uh, you know, Michelin. I mean, there's a Michelin three-star uh, in, uh, Ala Moana, the, uh, it's the basement, uh, hotel or the basement. I, 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 uh, it's in Matsun. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't think of the name of it right now, but there's a Japanese section of it. And down in the basement, they've got this, this, um, uh, it's a cellar type situation and it's like primo it's an invite only restaurant. So it's super high, high end. I've actually not had a chance to uh, to eat there myself, but I've heard that it's absolutely amazing. But um, anyway, that's right there, literally a stone's throw from this. 
And, uh, you know, the, the, the Ala Moana hotel has got, a, it's a very, very nice property. That's very, uh, very close to the Ala Moana shopping center. So recap, like I said, 1,152 Airbnb legal units connected to the Ala Moana center. One thing about this, uh, this property, it's got some pretty high condo fees and the condo fees are actually on top of the, um, you know, any revenues that you might pay to the hotel for the pleasure of owning a property in the Ala Moana hotel. So uh, 60% is the chunk that they take. They actually have 10% uh, hotel expense and then a 50% uh, operating expense right off the top. Um, their current listings are anywhere from 144,000 to 585,000. And uh, let's take a look at some of the listings, why don't we? So hang tight. I'm gonna pull these up and we'll get a look at some of the Ala Moana listings. All right, looks like we've currently got about 50, uh, or correction, that, let's change that to active only. We've got 43 that are in uh, currently active. The lowest is going to be $144,000. Uh, that's going to be unit number 448. And that is going to be obviously lower on the, um, on the level, which is would explain its price point. You're not going to have the views from this one. It's basically just a hotel room. Uh, it's, got a, it's got a couch, a fold-out couch, and a queen. And, you know, your typical galley little kitchenette. Actually, it looks like you've got a little kitchenette right there uh, as well. There it is. They do have a, quite a bit of nice amenities at the Ala Moana Hotel as well. So, and there you can see, so this is the Ala Moana Hotel and the, or the center, Ala Moana Mall and center. And then this is the, the hotel. This is Atkinson right here. And then you can't see it in this picture, but right across the way over here is the convention center. And it's just, that's the, the portico share there. They've actually redone the lobby within the last two to three, yeah, maybe, maybe four years. And it's very nice, very modern, well done. You've got a couple of, you've got a Starbucks coffee. You've got another local coffee shop and also a local bakery uh, right in there, a little restaurant. Dada Spa Salon and Cafe. Um, a lot of airline crews actually um, contract with the hotel, um, the hotel uh, uh, company that that runs the hotel there, and so you see a lot of uh, a lot of airline crews and you know um, you know flight attendants and pilots not like coming in and out. And there you can see the signature prime steak and seafood on the 36th floor. So that's the bottom of the stack of this particular property. The top is a one bedroom, one bath at, on the floor 26 at $585,000. And this one is gonna be on the west end of the condo, face facing west. You got nice sunsets where you can open up the doors there and just enjoy that Hawaiian breeze, see the sunset, see the waves. Um, it's Alamona Beach Park right there. This is Macy's right below you. Uh, again, this is, you know, one of the, it's actually the number one mall uh, in the Pacific, the largest, largest mall in the Pacific. Um, and there it is, a little more sunset from the Lanai. Yeah, there you can see on the end, uh, looking up from, this is actually the parking structure next to Alamoana, and that's Macy's there. Yeah, so... Very nice. So that's the uh, that's two of the properties in uh, Alamona, the, the high and the low. So uh, big picture is it's an excellent one, but they just take so much uh, in their revenue that, I mean, it's very, very difficult to be profitable. So pretty much really going to be just a cash purchase uh, on one of these, you, you know, one of these condos. And again, the condo fees on top of the revenue shares is, are like 12 to $1,200 to $1,800. So um, kind of expensive. Okay, let's go. Oh my goodness. That's so funny. The little animation. Uh, let's take a look at the Ilikai Hotel. The Ilikai Hotel, I absolutely love. 
It's right across from across Ala Moana on the other side. In fact, that's what I was going to do was take a look at the um, just to show you on the map where the Ilakai is so we can see. So we are right here. Um, so the Hawaii Convention Center is in this area. This is the Ala Moana Hotel right here. We'll do a little. Where's my little guy here? There he is. Just to get a sense of what it's like. What do we do? Oh, sorry. There we go. All right. So that's the cross the street. And this is it. So you've got a you got a sort of a, a portico share here. And then just down the way here. I, I like it too because it's got the sky bridge. So you don't have to walk, you know, into the traffic or anything like that. You go directly from the condo. You just walk right across this this bridge and it takes you right over there to the diamond head end of the Alamoana Center, which is uh, which is right here. But we are already finished with the Alamoana Hotel. So let's just keep going around the corner and show you the Ilakai, which is the actually by count by unit count. This unit that we're going to go to here, the Ilakai is actually the largest property by unit count whenever you count the marina and the apartment condos. So um, we will uh, let's see. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you kind of the little entrance area right here, just so you can see at the street level. There it is across the street. That's the Discovery Bay. That's not it. But right here is the, the entrance to the Ilakai. Now, the Ilakai was actually made famous in Hawaii Five-0. If you've ever watched Hawaii Five-0, uh, the original Hawaii Five-0 up on top of this uh, of this apartment condo actually is where you can see the... Um, this one right here and actually i showed it in this uh in this uh slide deck so you'll see it but isn't this just an incredible location you're literally right here on the marina you've got a pool you've also this also has a nice walking area to come out here to the hilton hawaiian village um uh lagoon which is just absolutely incredible such a great place to take the keiki the kiddos uh you've got obviously waikiki beach all along here the uh, this is the hilton hawaiian village this is the halikoa you've got fort de Russi right here you've got the trump tower right over there you've got um the what is, is that one called i forget exactly what that one's called this is the uh the sheraton the waikiki sheraton uh the hyatt down there but i mean it's just a it's just a you know an amazing amazing spot and of course with diamond head in the distance there um, here you can see the front side. This is um, so. This is the Marina Building right here, and this is the Ilakai Hotel Building right here. Obviously, this is the uh, Alawai Marina right here, um, and um, this is actually the Waikiki Marina. So it's interesting how uh, the Alawai Marina and the Waikiki Marina are actually adjacent to each other, but uh, but different. Um, but at any rate, it's it's just in a primo primo location right there at the front side of the entrance to Waikiki. Some things to notice, there are two separate but neighboring properties located at the entrance to Waikiki and Honolulu. Both properties are going to offer convenient access to popular attractions such as the Alamoana Shopping Center, the Alamoana Beach Park, and the Hawaii Convention Center. The Ilikai Apartments, uh, also known as the Ilikai Hotel and Luxury Suites, it's a historic high-rise condominium located at 1777 Alamoana Boulevard. It's got 26 stories and features 1,009 residential units in here, which includes studios, one bedrooms, and two bedroom configuration. They come with all private lanai's, and they offer stunning views of the ocean, the marina, and the city. The Ilikai Apartments over here, they've got a range of amenities. Uh, they actually don't have a swimming pool, uh, but they do have access to the Ilikai for your swimming pool. And... Um, uh, let's see here. It, this is 17 floors and it's got 261 residential units, um, you know, including studios and one bedrooms. And many of them feature private lanai's and marina and ocean views. Uh, the the actual uh, Ilikai Marina does have uh, parking. The Ilikai does not. And so what you can do is uh, you can actually pay a daily rate and it's actually only $25 at this rate point at today when this is being filmed in April of 2023. Um, so that's actually not bad uh, considering. So if you do 
own a unit in here that you want a short term rental, you can let your guests know they have property, they have options to park underneath the Ilikai Marina uh, at $25 a day. So uh, a couple of other um, highlights about it. And also one that I wanted to point out, uh, if you see, if you remember from the beginning of Hawaii Five O, for those of you that are uh, of that certain age, uh, i.e. Uh, Gen Xers, this was actually the, the beginning of that show. It was in the, it was in the highlights at the opening to Hawaii Five O, and it was actually right here on the top of that building. So anyway, Here's a look at the entrance right from the portico chair. So you, uh, you've you got a little uh, escalator or some stairs to walk up. And then this is part of the lobby. I couldn't find a lot of photos of the current uh, condition of the lobby, but they've redone it. And it really, really looks nice with what they've done. This is one of two pools that they've got. I think this is, uh, I believe this is the adult pool. They've also got a, a pool that they do open up for the juniors, for the little, for the littles as well. So a um, couple of things to note about the Ilikai Hotel Marina. There's 1,270 Airbnb legal units between the two of them. Um, the condo fees are going to be anywhere between $600 to $1,200. So the condo fees are a lot less than just right across the street at the Ala Moana Condo Hotel. You don't pay a hotel management fee. You would just pay a management fee if you were to hire someone like Ali'i Vacation Rentals or, you know, one of the short-term rental um, management companies right there in Waikiki. You can also self-manage it. So if you are feeling enterprising and you want to have a, um, you know, a cleaner, uh, do that. You can do that. You do need to live on island to do that, however. Um, or so, so if you don't live on the island and you want to own here, you would need to have uh, a management company to management manage it, and the pricing on these are currently two hundred two point four million to five, down to five hundred forty five thousand dollars. So let's take a peek at what we've got in the Ilikai. The Ilikai apartments and the Ilikai Marina. So currently, there's forty eight between these two 2.5 oh wait excuse me sorry let's take that off all right so 2.45 to 545 here's the the high end so this is going to be a two bedroom two bath up on the 19th floor overlooking the lagoon there and looks like you've got a larger lanai facing the west You've got that ginormous kitchen countertop. Look at that massive island. Got some wine storage down below. You've got split ACs in there, which is going to make it nice when the trades aren't blowing and you just want some good old generated cool air. Nice corner unit looking out over the marina. 180 degree view uh, from the dining area there as well continued. And then this is from the second bedroom showing the length of this unit. So these are very, it's a very kind of long-ish Type unit. There you are tucked back into that second bedroom where you've got the, the sliding doors um, for their bathroom. This one hasn't been updated in recent, probably in a couple, maybe a decade, maybe 15 years. I can tell from looking at the, the marble countertops and the, but the location is great. I mean, look at that corner, 19th floor, ocean side lanai, just very, very nice. Waikiki Yacht Harbor. And then there's part of the entrance. And you've got Cinnamon's Restaurant down there on the deck. And then that's pool number one. And that's pool number two. And there's the iconic Ilikai in all its glory. So that's, uh, you know, the high end. Uh, you know what? Let me see. Were there any others that were? There's the view. There's Cinnamon's. There's the lagoon. Yeah, there you go. Nice view of the condo from the water. So that's the Ilikai. And let's take a look at what we've got at the bottom of the stack. The lowest property or lowest entry point for this one is at 545 currently. And this one is going to be a mountain and city view. You uh, even, even if, I mean, it's still, it's still a nice, even though you're not looking at the ocean, you've still got a nice view of the mountains above, above Honolulu in the background. Um, you know, some of the green space of Fort de Russi down there, you know, it's still, uh, still a nice, and as far as from an investment standpoint, I mean, these things are going to absolutely pull, um, 
a good solid revenue on a nightly basis on a monthly basis they really they really are i mean the demand for waikiki is incessant it never <laughs> ever stops unless there's a pandemic i shouldn't say never i don't like to i don't like to say never but it's it's pretty solid very very solid so um but this one is uh listed at 545 and the key is there you can see a little bit more pictures of the lobby that they've kind of redone as of late okay uh, this one is got 687. I mean, that's not bad. That includes hot water. I mean, that's really not bad considering. So 687 plus a $545,000 purchase price. You are virtually guaranteed to make some money on your return if you invest in one of these here. Um, so that is the Ilakai. So that's the second, number two of five. Let's go to number three, which is a great building. This is the Waikiki Banyan. Uh, the Waikiki Banyan is a popular condominium complex. It's in the heart of Waikiki. Let's take a look. It's at 201 Ohua Avenue. So now we're going to travel in a little bit farther. Now, keep in mind, this is the third largest of all of the, um, of the five large condominium projects in um in Oahu or in Hawaii for that matter. Uh, the entrance is going to be on this side. It's a two tower project. Um, the Waikiki Manion, it's got a great little um, entry area. They've got this beautiful artwork on the walls. They're just these massive, whenever you're standing inside there, and I've actually got some photos of it, it's really nice. You've got one unit, or excuse me, one tower that's sort of east west and then one that's sort of north south. So, um, you know, the, the north south one is going to be looking, this is going to be more sunset views. This one is going to be more ocean views, um, but it's, you know, it's right down the street from Cujillo Beach. You just cruise right down Ohua Avenue. You got, um, oh yeah, you do need to cross Cujillo. And then you're going to have um, Waikiki Cheeseburger in Paradise. It's going to be on the other, other corner over here. Uh, this is Morimoto's or Sensei, excuse me, Sensei's, which is new. This, this little guy right here. Um, and actually, you know what, maybe this is, I can't, oh yeah, this has actually been redone. This is not, this is actually not Honolulu cookie anymore. This is actually a Morimoto's now they've redone that, which is, which is nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, here you are, you're right here in, in Waikiki, you know, so it is a little, it's not, you know, on the front and center of, uh, of Waikiki, but it's still going to be a little, you know, you can see it back there. There, there it is. It's a twin, it's two towers. And um, there's a little bit more view of the the lobby area. They do have parking. They've got a very nice amenity deck with pool and a couple of hot tubs and some grills. And uh, yeah, so let's take a look. I can't believe this animation stuck. I thought I deleted the animation. Don't you love that? Uh, whenever you're doing the PowerPoints. <laughs> um, so let's see here. The Waikiki Banyan between the two towers, there are 800 excuse me, 876 Airbnb legal units in, among two towers. There's a very large amenity deck. You've got parking included. The condo fees are going to be around $900 or so a little more, um, but they do have some nice inclusions. They do have both leasehold and fee simple. All right. And their current listings are $200,000 to $680,000. Now, for those of you that are watching and then following for a while, leaseholds, uh, we actually, I've discovered a new lender that actually can lend on leasehold properties um, with some asterisks, but uh, it's been a great uh, a great find, and I'm actually looking forward to helping uh, you know some of uh, you investors that want to get in something something you know kind of lower entry point, and we might have a lender that can do that. But the others are fee simple. But let's take a look at what we've got in the Banyan. So hang tight, real quick. Waikiki Banyan. All right. So we have active. Currently, there are five that are active. So low to high. We'll start at the low end. So $200,000, um, 2408 in the Mackay building. Mackay means ocean. So this is on the ocean side. Um, this one, we've got 11 photos. Let's take a peek here. Wow. 
It's got views of the ocean, all right. It's back towards the mountains. So it looks like they haven't redone the interior. Got an island, got some older cabinets, some white um, appliances. You're going to be able to see right over to the north, the um, Malka Tower right there. Yes, this one has not been updated, but it is the, you know, if it's $200,000 entry point. Let's see. I'm curious, actually, what the lease expiration is 35. So we've got 12 years yet on the lease. Now, one of the things is that you're going to pay that $930, $933 in monthly um, fees. But keep in mind, that includes your electricity. It includes hot water. It includes sewer. It includes regular water. It includes cable TV, internet service. I mean, you add all of those things up. I mean, electricity alone is going to be, for a condo that like this, probably $200, you know, uh, water is going to be another 100, 120. So that's 320. Internet service is going to be another 70. Now we're at uh, what is about, what did I say? 100, one, so 220 ish uh, or 270. Sorry, 270 plus probably about 340 or so. Um, you know, and then I mean, yeah, it's like you're literally 400 of that is really going to be towards just your common utilities. And those are all included in the $933. So I think that's actually a nice part of the Waikiki Banyan. That's why I like the Waikiki Banyan. But then with this one, you're also going to have to pay $450 in lease payments. Now, you can buy the fee out on some of them. Um, they will sometimes mention what the fee buyout is. And uh, it looks like they've got a special assessment that just started as well for rec deck repairs. But at any rate, that's the low end of the Waikiki Banyan. Uh, let's go up to the high end. One bedroom, one bath, $680,000. This one is going to be um, popular vacation rental, one block from Waikiki Beach. There we go. There's the lobby area. This one is fee simple, so you're not going to have to pay your uh, lease fee, but it's obviously the purchase price is reflective of that. Trying to see which direction we're going to be facing here. That's the rec deck. Looks like the tennis and the pickleball courts there. Yeah, you can see it's a massive, massive deck up on top of the uh, on top of the parking area. And there we've got them again. So it's hard to tell which direction this one is actually facing. Um, okay, so this is tower two. So it's actually going to be the east west. So you are going to be facing the 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 ocean. Uh, it just doesn't look like they really highlighted that view very well, at least in their photos, unfortunately. But you can see it does have a decent size on ice. Some of these units, uh, in, in especially the studios, they don't have the larger larger lanai. So this one actually has got a decent size lanai. Asking six hundred eighty thousand dollars. Been on the market for twelve days, and they're going to have nine thirty three, and they don't have the lease payments. So um, yeah, so that is the Waikiki Banyan. All right. Moving on over to the Island Colony. The Island Colony is a high-rise condominium building located in Waikiki at 445 Seaside. It's in the heart of Waikiki. It's got convenient access to popular attractions, shopping, dining, entertainment options. Um, it's got 44 stories and 740 residential units. So again, these, these five that we're showing, I mean, these are behemoths, 740 Airbnb capable built, uh, you know, rooms and, uh, they're available in various configurations, studios, one bedrooms, and they do have some two bedrooms up here on the penthouse level. Many of the units feature private lanai's and provide stunning views of the ocean mountain or cityscape. It offers an array of amenities for residents and guests, including a large rec deck, which you can see down here with a swimming pool also has um, hot tub, sauna, fitness center, barbecue areas, and a mini mart. They also have a nice little convenience store right there on the rec deck, which is great. Uh, it's got a spacious open air lobby, meeting spaces, and laundry facilities. Short-term vacation rentals are allowed. And this is one thing that I love about this. All these buildings so far that we've seen are, are legal short-term rentals, which is what I love about them. This building, we did a transaction. We did a transaction in here. Uh, closed on it a couple weeks back. And um, I was quite impressed with the way the building is put together. 
all of the details on, uh, you know, Airbnbs for, for this particular, uh, you know, this particular building. So I, I like Island Colony. In fact, their pricing is reflective of it uh, because we're already starting to see an increase in the prices uh, in the Island Colony. But there you can see a street level view. It's got this big pe um, pedestal for parking that it's on here. And there's the pool deck. <laughs> Uh, I can't believe that little animation. And here we go. So uh, 740 Airbnb legal units. You do share. Uh, some of the units are in the hotel pool. Um, you can self-manage either yourself if you live on island or using someone like Ali'i Vacation Rentals to manage it. Or you can put it into the hotel pool and they will manage it for you. Generally, you're going to make more money uh, even using a property manager than putting it into this, the hotel pool. Uh, condo fees are going to be between four and seven hundred dollars. Uh, they've got one bedrooms and studios currently available, and our current listings are between three fifty eight to four hundred k for their studios. So let's take a peek. Oops, at what inventory we've got in the island colony. All right, looks like we've got eight at the moment, and. Uh, as we mentioned, the low end is 358, so unit 1615. And you can see this is just a basic, interesting, they've got a nice big couch in here. Huh. That's interesting. Haven't done much work on the, uh, on the kitchen or the bathroom, it doesn't appear. Got some nice tile on the floor there. You can see the view of the LOI. This is the lobby area. They've got some newer kind of banyan furnishings in there. And this is from a rec deck looking at the LOI. Laundry, gym, pool, spa or sauna, jacuzzi. Um, let's see. Da -da 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 Island, a highly sought after building. How do I get a chance? One handful of units. Two blocks from world famous Waikiki Beach. Yeah, actually, I was going to also show you where where this little guy is located as well the island colony it's going to be over here off of <coughs> where are we at here am i too far no here it is right here um so it's on the back side by the alloy so that's why they say it's too uh, this is the pedestal for it, and that's the building itself. This is actually the backside service entrance there, which is convenient to the LOI for uh, entry and exit if you've got to move stuff in or whatever. Um, this is the LOI canal. And then we'll just cruise down here. So you're, uh, you know, it's an easy walk down to Kohio. Um, if we look right there, you can just make out the Sheraton Waikiki right there. But again, it's a it's a large, sizable building, 740 units. They've got a nice little lobby area here. Um, the parking situation is uh, is first come, first serve. Okay, it is. I want to say it's 35 ish dollars a day for daily parking rate, maybe a little more. And um, and they do have monthly uh, parking that is available. Uh, you you just have to get it through the vendor. But from what I heard is there's some discrepancies i heard that they've had that they do have some parking available and then i've heard from others that they don't so just kind of uh just kind of depends but at any rate that's the island colony from a uh from a street view and then yeah we, we looked at one of the bottom listings let's go back and look at the uh look at the top high-end listing as well here so this one is Listed at 400. Interesting. They started now. That's interesting. They started at 380, and then they bumped up to 400 because there's been some some action in this building. So uh, yeah, these are some current photos. The lobby's been redone recently. So interesting uh, arrangement of the of the furnishings here. Um, one of the things that about the island colony that we've learned is that you do have to have it approved by the uh, building if you're going to run it 
through short-term rentals. And so you'll need to have, you'll need to make sure, look at that view though. Wow. Uh, you need to make sure that the, um, you know, the furnishings and the decor are all up to their standards. But I mean, that's a, that's a picture perfect view from this unit here, looking straight back towards Diamond Head, towards the uh, west end of Waikiki or east end of Waikiki. So nice. You got the Hyatt over there, these two towers. Really nice. What unit is this? It needs a little bit of work on the interior, but number 3909. Yeah, so this one is almost up to the top. So this one's way up there. That's why it's got those beautiful views. There's the mini mart I was talking about. So that's the uh, the island colony. So um, that's the you know fourth largest in all of Hawaii. That's the fourth largest building. All right, and now we are going to bring it home with the Moana Pacific, which is the fifth and final in our video today. The Moana Pacific is not a short-term rental uh, capable building. So this is the largest condominium uh, project in Hawaii that does not have the ability to run short-term rental. So these are only long-term rental types of properties, but type of, uh, type of a building. But I love this building. Um, it's actually two buildings. One of the things that you'll notice is their shape. Uh, as an aviator, I love this. They've tilted these things into the trades and they are wing shaped. And so they're literally designed to sort of take the wind and uh, kind of not create any real disruptions in it. So they've sort of pointed them into the wind and uh, angled them appropriately to the prevailing trades, which which I absolutely love. So it kind of cuts down on like the super high wind uh, situation in the, in the higher levels there um, if, you, uh, if you don't have any obstructions. Um, on the first floor, I, one of the uh, several things I love about this building or about this comp, you know, these two buildings, um, on the first floor, you've got the Amuse wine bar, you've got um, the in, uh, Inspiration Furniture, the Design Center. Uh, it's got a very nice, well- well put together, you know, um, sort of a eclectic, not eclectic, actually, they're sort of, they all kind of vibe very similarly, very modern. So you've got modern furnishings, you've got a nice modern uh, restaurant uh, and wine bar. It's very, it's very nice. Um, here you can see sort of one of the roundabouts in front of one of the two buildings. This is the pool deck here. Um, they've got this one of the entry um, ways for one of the buildings, one of the two buildings you know, very nice modern design, it's just very high end. I love this building. It's very, very luxury centered, um, but it's not, um, and the location is also great. This is actually at the other end of the Ala Moana Mall from the, so we started at the opposite end with the Ala Moana ho uh, Hotel. Now we're going to the opposite end of that sort of block of Ala Moana Center. And that's where we find ourselves at the Mo Moana Pacific. And uh, let me just really quick zoom out and show you sort of where this is um, so you can see. Here's the Alamoana. So, so this is the condo, the Alamoana Hotel right here. And the, Mo the Moana Pacific is where right on the corner. Where are we at? Here, there it is. These two guys right here. So that's the Moana Pacific. And um, again, just you can see this is the Inspiration Interiors, the Stage Restaurant, Amuse Wine Bar right here. Uh, I mean, it's got a it's got a really nice looking corner piece to it. Let's see, there it is, right there, uh, right across the street over here. Also, there's a there's a nice Japanese restaurant over there. Um, that uh, Doraku Doraku Sushi is actually over there now. They've got a new location, um, but you know you've got the design center. It's very nice. Just a it's just a really well well put together, and it's and it's it's really uh, stood the test of time. It was a very nice project when they built this one. I think they built this one in two thousand eight, actually, right at the peak of uh, the financial uh, troubles of two thousand eight. There you can see the the windows into the the furniture design center. It's real. It's just a nice nice building. Nice um, nice piece, you know, nice, a lot of nice amenities, a lot of, it's just got a good feel to it, very modern feel to it. So, and then of course you've got these acacia trees or, or, uh, these are acacia or monkey pot. I can't, I think, they, oh yeah, I think those are monkey pot trees right over Kapilani Boulevard, giving it really a nice little good feel on the, on the 
from the street level here. And then over here is the mall. So you just come down here, down P.E. Koi, and this is going to be Kona Street right here. So this is Kona Street, and then the mall is literally right here on the left. So uh, there you can see you've got Nordstrom, Bloomingdale's, Neiman Marcus, Macy's. you got the Foodland Farms right there. Ha, huh, funny, funny story. This actually, this little parking lot used to be a blockbuster video, if you'll remember those days. Um, but yeah, you can just walk right in here and get, you know, in fact, you could probably just go down to this next, this next little entry here. And uh, the Bloomingdale's is going to be, or the Nordstrom is going to be right here, you know, and then you've got some a pedestrian walk up right there. You can just take the stairs up and then you're, you're in the mall and it's, you know, the uh, Alamoana center is just a really nice, nice mall. So, but uh, let's see here. Uh, so the Moana Pacific, back, back to the, the, the condo itself, there's 720 units inside of these two buildings. You've got very nice walkable access to the Alamoana Inspiration Furniture, Honolulu Design Center, the Stage Restaurant, Amuse Wine Bar. Amuse Wine Bar is really cool. Uh, they do like you, you buy these cards. Basically, the idea is you come in and you and you put, you know, 50 bucks on a card and then they've got all these different wine machines and all these different wines. They actually just put the bottle like right into it, I think, and or on it. And I, I forget exactly if they I think they might be inverted. And you put your little you insert your card and put your wine glass underneath and then it'll, you know, drain out of you know, a, a sniffer of your, of the wine and you can decide how many ounces you want or whatever of it, but it's really cool. It's a great, it's a great place to have sort of social mixers and things like that. Um, so let's take a look at the current, uh, properties that are available in the Moana Pacific and, and then we'll wrap up. Moana Pacific right there. So we've got seven condos available. Uh, current prices topping out at 1.185. Looked at this one earlier. Three bedroom, two bath. You can see this one is on the uh, west end of the front building, I believe it is. And uh, there you are looking back up. Yeah, I think that is. It's tough to tell from this angle. Not the best photos. McKinley High School down below. You can see the uh, current status of the kitchen, the dining area. That's Blaisdell Center over there. So, yeah, some uh, city and county buildings, the high school. It's really got that very cool rounded, rounded feel to it. And then there you can see the other building next door. Yeah. And then um, let's see. Let's go down to the bottom and see the low, the lowest price for this one. Looks like they've got a parking stall available for sale. Oh, no, that's actually not. That's a storage unit. <laughs> you can buy a storage unit in there for 45K. <laughs> Scott. I know Scott Adams. He's a buddy of mine. Good job, Scott. Nice work. Well, I'm proud of your in, your parking lot listing. <laughs> I love it. And then this is the low end version, six hundred thirty thousand. Oh yeah, I was going to show you the seven hundred seventy, and that includes central AC, which is nice because that's a big part of your AC or of your electricity. So seven hundred seventy dollars on your monthly fees. That includes water and cable and uh, AC. So you're going to have to pay to, to heat the water, but the water is included. And this one is the low end. It's uh, you can see that is what is this a one yeah one bedroom one bath, and it's on the sixth floor, tower one. So it's a lower unit. <clears throat> Walk-in closet, in unit laundry, at your entryway here, six oh one. There's your parking. There's your elevators. There's one of the lobbies. The gym up on the sixth floor podium. Amenity deck. You got a theater deck in there, or a theater room in there, which is nice. And uh, some common meeting rooms, or, or you can have like a little baby luau. I think I went to a 
what was it? I think we went to a um, baby shower actually at that building one time. Tennis courts, putting green, barbecue area, outdoor rec. I think they even have a golf um, area where you can where you can hit your golf golf clubs into a into a net. But that's the uh, Moana Pacific. I love that building it's a very nice building but no short-term rentals in that building long term only but um anyway that about wraps it up again just want to say uh this build this uh, video has been sponsored by buywaikiki.com if you have any questions about legal short-term rentals in hawaii head on over to buywaikiki.com you'll find an overview of the current short-term rental rules there you'll find all of the current buildings that are legal airbnb and vrbo as well as current listings for those as well it's a very insightful very helpful site as well. And now you stayed all the way to the end for your free gift. If you sign up for our good to be home magazine, we actually provide a good to be home magazine. This is actually what it looks like. Um, our team puts it together. Uh, we send it out once a month and it's a very good magazine because uh, it's just really current trends and design, current trends in uh, home care, home maintenance, you know, tech, all that good stuff. It basically we we try and stay ahead of of you know the trends and on trend with um you know with with real estate and and home ownership. And so that's um, if you sign up to receive our Good to Be Home magazine, it's our special gift, no charge for it. But if a little bonus gift, if you um, do that and you uh, and you sign up and you buy a property with us, we'll actually give you five hundred dollar buyer credit uh, in your closing costs for your property uh, if you do make a, a purchase of any property with Hawaii Property Advisor. So um, that is your free gift. And um, I think that's actually all we've got today. So I want to say thank you very much for those of you uh, that tuned in and watched. Again, my name is Hal Wilkerson with Hawaii Property Advisors. I wish you the best this April and uh, take care. God bless. Aloha. And we will see you next week. Take care. Oh,